How's it going? My name is Andy and this is Chris and this is IA Med Live. Right now we're going to start talking about SIMV ventilation. SIMV is synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilation. Um, in this mode, I, I like this mode, it's good. Um, it synchronizes with the patient's respirations. It's very similar to CPAP and BiPAP. Okay. It's, it's like invasive, right? It's like an it invasive is. BiPAP, right? It That's is. It's like, it is. it's like having an intubated patient who, who we can provide this pressure to that they can breathe in with this pressure. And also when they breathe out, provides a little bit of support on the way out as well. What it's doing, it will sense when the patient takes a breath. Okay. And it will support and synchronize with that patient's breath and assist them up to the level that the patient wants to take a breath. How much air can they get in? Whatever they want to take. Whatever they want to take. We're just going to provide them with that support, with that pressure, and they will take in as much breath as they would like. One thing that I like about SIMV is if by chance my patient then stops wanting to breathe as much. Yeah, if they just decide, you know what, I'm, I'm slowing down. I'm... Maybe we gave too much narcotics. Maybe, Maybe they just put them to sleep. We snowed them a little bit. Exactly. <gasps> Maybe we're not doing an infusion of sedation. Maybe we're doing push sedation. Yeah. And so they're going to have differing levels of respiratory effort. SIMV ventilation helps kind of make up for that a little bit. If the patient stops breathing as much as they were before, it, in a sense, is its safety mechanism. So it will mandate that the patient takes yeah. at least so much volume, so much minute volume, of breath based upon what I set here. So it's kind of a dual purpose. Yeah, and we can control that, right? So that we can control the underlying rate of what the patient needs to deliver. So we can say, hey, this patient needs to have at least 12 breaths at a preset total volume, and we'll just keep with whole numbers on this one, and say 500. So at least 12 of these breaths that I've told the patient they gotta have have to be at 500 milliliters of total volume. But as Andy alluded to, if they decide to breathe 18 breaths a minute, so they're breathing four extra breaths, those four extra breaths are whatever they want to take. If they want to take 100 milliliters of tidal volume, great. If they want to take 500, great. If they want to take more than what we've set, they get that as well. I think it is important to understand that when they start becoming, uh, when your respiratory rate does start to drop off, well, the ventilator now picks that up. So there is an underlying kind of safety net, uh, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Absolutely. So understand the differences is with assist control, every breath that they get is going to be at the 500, the preset volume that you've set at. With SIMV, or synchronous intermittent mandatory ventilation, we have a mandatory ventilation. That, that, is, that is that 12 and 500 that I've told the patient that they need to get. They have to get that. Okay. Anything after that is whatever the patient wants to take. And, and they can take as little as 100 or as 500.